Have you ever seen a pangolin before? They're covered in scales from head to toe, and they eat ants and termites, which is why they're commonly known as the scaly anteater. But pangolins are also one of the most trafficked mammals on the planet, due to the supposed benefits of pangolin scales in traditional Chinese medicine. They've also been identified as a potential link that could have spread the deadly COVID-19 virus from bats to humans, which could have taken place in wildlife markets. This begs the question, what exactly are pangolin scales used for in TCM, and are they really effective? In order to find out, I'm speaking with Yi Fu Wang, a PhD student at the University of Cambridge who has researched extensively on pangolins in TCM. Pangolin scales can play various roles in different um, treatments or different prescriptions. Clearing the blockage is one of the mostly uh, mentioned functions and also stimulating lactation, also treating certain types of tumours. So how are these benefits derived? From my understanding, TCM is more of um, uh, experimental study that people try different things and then observe the result. In TCM practice history, people tried pangolin scales and, and other ingredients and they, they found out that pangolin scales play certain roles in different treatments or whatever. And then when they try to understand it, they related this property or this effectiveness back to pangolin's behavior. So many people say that pangolin scale is effective because people see that pangolins dig into the burrows. How are pangolin scales usually consumed? So in TCM prescriptions, um, the pangolin scales is being treated um, or processed. So it's roasted and then sometimes sprayed with vinegar and uh, it's almost never used alone as a single medicine. It's always with other ingredients, three or five um, most commonly. But um, yeah, it's not sort of you just eat the scale on its own. How did the other animals like tigers and bears get used in TCM? Bears, pangolins and tiger etc. Um, there are native species in China and uh, in the past they are very abundant. Um, so it's very common that people just try to use it and see what happens. The, but animal medicine in TCM only compress a small fragment uh, of what they use on a daily basis. Most of the ingredients are made of plants. Is it illegal to sell pangolin scales in China? No, it is not. Um, a, there is still a legal market uh, trading pangolin scale medicine in mainland China and it involves 711 hospitals in total. From the policy level, there is an annual quota released by the government uh, regulating the quantity of the scales being released to this legal market. And on average, it's around 25 tons of pangolin scales per year. That's the data we have from 2008 to 2015. But in reality, it's actually quite easy for you to get pangolin scales from other places other than those 711 hospitals. Uh, most of the sources is probably illegal. What can be done to tackle the illegal wildlife trade? Yeah, I think it's very important that we collaborate with the TCM community because they are the ones who made the decision and using it and uh, <clears throat> the legal market also needs to be regulated. Yeah. Also, the awareness on the legality has to be raised because how do, how do you distinguish the legal products versus the illegal ones? When the consumers and even the TCM doctors, when they use it, they probably do not know that, in, that they are involved in the illegal behaviors. It's very important to collaborate with the local community, TCM community.